Why are Western countries suspending funding to Gaza's main aid organization? UNRWA, or the United Nations for Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, is in the middle of a controversy. Israel has accused 12 members of its staff of taking part in the October 7 Hamas attacks. Nine of these employees had their contracts immediately terminated, pending an investigation where they could be criminally prosecuted, according to UN officials. Of the remaining three, one was killed in the Gaza war, while the other two are awaiting confirmation on their identities. Despite the action taken by UNRWA, the US, which is the largest donor, decided to temporarily suspend its funding. Canada, the UK, Italy, Australia, Finland, Netherlands, Japan and Germany have all followed suit, depriving UNRWA of hundreds of millions of dollars. So what does that mean for civilians in Gaza? More than 2 million people in the enclave depend on UNRWA for assistance. The UN body had acted as a lifeline for civilians and had turned its schools and facilities into shelters for the displaced. The agency was set up in the aftermath of the Israeli state's creation in 1948, when at least 750,000 Palestinians were expelled from their homes. As displaced residents queue for life-saving aid, UN Chief Antonio Guterres has called on donor states to ensure the continuity of operations.